Hello. In this video, I'm going to discuss the Novonegel condensation. The Novonegel condensation is an aldol-like reaction between a 1,3-carbonyl dicarbonyl nucleophile and an aldehyde. Uh, requiring an amine as a base, and frequently the amine is a cyclic amine like piperidine here. Uh, and this reaction proceeds also with, with loss of water, so I'm going to note that. Okay. And uh, the product. Oops. So this looks like an aldol condensation, uh, but it's a special variation, and the mechanism is a little bit different, and, and we'll, we'll see what I mean here. Right? So there's sort of two preparatory parts for this to, to work out, and one is the reaction between... The reaction between the 1, 3 dicarbonyl compound, which is on the acidic side, and the amine, which is on the basic side. So you get this proton transfer. Uh, we set up the enolate, which we're going to need. And to make the conjugate acid of, of our amine, okay, which we're also going to need. So this reaction now helps this protonated amine and this extra proton helps set up the reaction between piperidine and the aldehyde to initially form uh, an aminium compound and plus a little prettier. That's electrophilic. And so, and I'm not I'm not drawing the mechanism of this this step. This is the same mechanism that you would use for the formation of any kind of imine looking compound. Uh, and and I've covered that in a video before. But now I have a molecule that's a, a nucleophile, another compound that's sort of the supercharged electrophile. And we get nucleophilic attack. And now we're really close to being done. My R group. Uh, I need this R group. I, I don't know, I'm going to end up moving it somewhere else probably. And I got my hydrogen. This hydrogen. This is the acidic hydrogen. And now I have, have this intermediate here. If this intermediate can pick up an acid or a proton from somewhere else in solution, um, and, and there are protons, extra protons flying around. I'm not going to be indicating exactly where I think this extra proton comes from, uh, but there are definitely places where it can come from. Now we have something that is an, a, a decent leaving group, and we have a base. You know, so, so for example, I guess that's worth maybe drawing, right? This protonated piperidine, really, honestly, is our most likely base and our most likely acid. Let's, let's, let's let them maybe be explicit where this extra proton comes from. And then, now we have another molecule of piperidine. It can deprotonate and do this elimination reaction. And if you're kind of counting the piperidines in and piperidines out, you'll notice that 
There's no net change in the number of piperidines that are used, and so piperidine serves an organocatalytic role. It's worth sharing that there's a variation of this mechanism that looks a lot more like the aldol condensation uh, in, in an, the piperidine only acts as a base. So you get the deprotonation to make the enolate. The enolate anion reacts with the aldehyde directly. You have an alkoxide anion. That picks up the proton, and then you undergo the, the same sort of elimination that can happen in the aldol condensation. So it's perfectly fine to draw a standard, ordinary aldol-looking mechanism for this reaction, uh, but this reaction tends not, tends not to work with... Uh, inorganic bases or, or alkoxide bases. It seems to require the amine base. So that's some compelling evidence for the amine being more involved in the mechanism. This concludes my video on the Novenagel reaction. Thank you for watching.